Welcome back to Picks and Parlays. I'm your host, Allie Burns. You can find me on Twitter at Plus Money Honey, and you can find a free MLB pick for Friday, August the 7th, right here. This just in, breaking news. Picks and Parlays has the promo of the summer. We are doing a three-day all sports pass for just $89. NHL, NBA, MLB, you choose all sports for three days, only $89 at picksandparlays.net. Today, we're going to be talking about the Angels and the Rangers. This is the first game of a new series. Let me tell you, paternity, fatherhood looks good on Mike Trout. He's been hitting home runs like crazy. Rangers haven't been holding up their end of the deal for their pitchers. Craig Trapp, what do you think about this matchup? Well, I think these are two teams that have some serious flaws, especially this Rangers team that it seems like when they, they do score runs, their pitchers just fall apart especially their bullpen. And when they actually, their starters, you know, go deep, then they don't produce any runs. So it's just a team that has some serious flaws. And I was kind of surprised that we didn't see the Angels as really bigger favors. I kind of thought they might end up in that 170 range. But, you know, I don't think, I think the stronger play for me is on the total in this one, just because neither of these teams are very good. Um, Jordan Lyles on his first start of the year on last Saturday I think it was four innings and four runs, four end runs. That's going to spell trouble if they have to go to the bullpen early that has been used uh, used up. I think this one goes way over, and I wouldn't talk anybody off the Angels if uh, uh, the way this Rangers team's playing either. Yeah, I like the Angels here, but I am not going to lay the minus 155. That total's at nine and a half. I do like the total to go over, but honestly, when comparing these stats, Trout's had three home runs in two games after fatherhood. Angels have 22 home runs for the season. The Rangers have 11. That includes their game today. I I kind of like the Angels run line here. That's what I'm going to play. Minus a run and a half at minus 102. Two, I believe it was. They're starting Griffin Canning. He's coming off a win, a pretty decent win against the Astros. He went six innings with only one earned run, five strikeouts. Like you said, Jordan Lyles in four innings had four earned and one single strikeout. He's just not going to be able to get the run support. And the Angels feel like they're hot right now. Everyone's kind of rallied around Trout and the new baby. And they're showing up and hitting, hitting the ball out of the park. So I take the Angels on the run line at minus 102. Well, I think if the Angels win, the run line's a good play because you get them basically even money. Like I said, I, I misspoke. The over is nine and a half in this one. I think the Angels score seven by themselves. So <laughs> all we got to do yeah. is get the Rangers to three, and that gets us both the run line if, if you're on Alley's play or – uh, the total as well. So I think the stronger play for me, though, is on the over nine and a half. If you get on, I'm sure you can play uh, some prop bets with the over on the Angels as well for the game. Uh, I think that's a pretty safe bet as well. All right. I like it. All right, Craig, thanks so much for stopping by. I'm Allie Burns. This is Picks and Parlays. Bet, win, repeat. Hey, guys, just a reminder, don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube page and hit that bell if you want notifications every time we post a new video.